Hello, MCU fans. Today, we're going to take a look at the question of who will be on the new Avengers team. Captain America 4 Brave New World certainly seems to imply that we're going to have a brand new team by the end of the movie, but who will the members be? Well, I'm going to tell you my picks, and of course, I want to know yours as well. Lots to discuss, so let's dive right in and see what we can find out. Don't forget, we have an August contest running all month long. Be a subscriber, leave a comment. You could win a book or a steelbook. Best of luck. And we have a membership option with lots of cool perks, so you might check it out in case you're interested. All right, so let's start by reviewing some of the earlier lineups, including, of course, that original OG six-member lineup from the first Avengers movie doesn't get too much better than this. Of course, by Age of Ultron, they added more members, but by the end of the movie, man, major shakeup. You have Tony Stark basically going on an early retirement, Thor taking off to look for Infinity Stones, Kraven, sorry, Quicksilver dying, Hawkeye goes on an early retirement, and Hulk, of course, takes off on a Quinjet. Luckily, they did add more members by the end of the movie, with Vision and Scarlet Witch joining War Machine and, of course, Falcon. And they were along with Black Widow and Captain America. In fact, we see a portion of that lineup in the initial part of Civil War uh, when they go and do that battle in Lagos versus Crossbones. And then by the middle of the movie, oh my goodness, that massive, awesome airport battle. But this pretty much was the end of the Avengers until, well, present day, really, because by the end of this movie, you have Captain America, Falcon, and Black Widow taking off the Secret Avengers. Uh, you have Scarlet Witch and Vision going to explore their romance. You have basically Ant-Man and Hawkeye on home arrest. I'm not certain that Hawkeye was on a home arrest, but it sure seems like it. Obviously, Ant-Man was. You have Bucky getting reconditioned. You have Black Panther taking off to go run Wakanda. And you have Spider-Man heading off to do his own thing. So really, at the end of the movie, this was it. This was the Avengers team. Iron Man and War Machine. Oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy? And of course, that's why at the beginning of Infinity War... We had separate teams. I mean, obviously Hulk made it back, and now Doctor Strange, Wong, and eventually Spider-Man join up with uh, Iron Man, and even the Guardians jump in, which is craziness, right? And then we have the Infinity War team in Wakanda, and you know they did their best to try to fend off Thanos, but in the end, they lose. The snap occurs, and in Endgame, we have the blip survivors. The OG six are back. Uh, you know They don't get blipped, obviously, and they have some friends along with them. And technically, you could argue at the end of the movie, with the declaration Avengers Assemble, everybody there was kind of an Avenger with an asterisk after them. But really, this was the last we see of the Avengers. They don't meet anymore. In fact, as recently as November of 2026 in the timeline, when Secret Invasion occurs, the Avengers still don't exist. The Scroll Council is talking about what happens if the Avengers return. Now, granted, that could be talking about them being off-world, but really, I've traced in other videos no one knows where they are. They, they, they've just not been meeting ever since Endgame. So it's a really big deal when Ross is telling Sam, I want you to rebuild the Avengers. Now, I've done some theory videos on maybe Captain America 4 is happening earlier in the timeline, which I kind of like that. But realistically speaking, this is probably happening after Secret Invasion. But either way, we know this is when they're going to be rebuilding the Avengers. So the question is, who will be on that team? Well, guess what? We have a lot to choose from. <laughs> this is every single superhero that is still alive, uh, or at least is rumored to be alive in some way, shape, or form, uh, and the order that they appeared from a timeline standpoint. So that's why Captain Marvel is in the upper left-hand corner, and then, of course, we don't see Iron Man or Black Widow because they've both died. So 87 heroes. There's 87 here. Oh, my word. Obviously, Marvel has a very deep bench. And that means Sam can choose from a lot of different heroes. But let's start eliminating some of these, because obviously not all of these are really going to be able to join. Let's start with the Guardians. They're off-world. Other than Star-Lord, he is actually on-world now. But they're off-world. They're not going to join. It'd be really cool if they did, but I don't see that happening. The Defenders, I love them. Uh, uh, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and I'm even throwing Echo in there. I should probably put Punisher here, but oh, man, he's such an anti-hero. It's really hard to imagine he would ever be chosen. But nonetheless, I, I don't see Sam choosing any of them. It'd be awesome. Daredevil would be awesome, but not yet. Maybe down the road. Then we have Wanda and Jane, both of whom are dead, I mean, I put quotey marks around dead because I don't think Wanda's really even dead. And Jane is dead, but since we saw her in Valhalla, I think they're implying she might end up coming back. But for now, she's dead. And Vision, of course, is not himself. So yeah, we're gonna take them out of the picture. 
Uh, the Thunderbolt members are unavailable because they're working for Val. So Bucky, uh, Yelena, Red Guardian, and U.S. Agent, nope, I don't see them joining. I think most Wakandans won't want to join. I mean, M'Baku is running Wakanda right now. And whether it's Okoye, Ao, Nakia, or Anika, I don't, I don't see any of them joining. I'm going to leave, though, Shuri on there, Black Panther, for now. We'll talk more about her in a moment. All right, Loki and Kid Loki, for various reasons, are unavailable. I keep Kid Loki on here because I really hope he gets out of the void. He was cool. But obviously, Loki is very busy right now. Uh, Wiccan and Speed, I mean, don't really exist. Although, Agatha all along might bring back Wiccan. So maybe Wiccan will be available, but I don't, I don't see Falcon choosing either of them, even if they do come back. Uh, the Eternals, for the most part, I do not see the Eternals wanting to join. I don't think they even want anybody to know they exist. But I am going to leave Cersei, and you'll see why in a moment. I think she is a very interesting uh, character. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about her in a bit. All right, so then we have the post credit scenes that have not yet materialized. Blade has still not appeared. Uh, the Black Knight has not picked up his sword, as far as we know. And Hercules is still waiting to get revenge on Thor. So, yeah, we'll take them out. Uh, several characters are in a different universe right now. Doctor Strange and Clea are somewhere gone. We don't know where they went. Uh, Monica's over in the Beast universe. The two Spider-Man are off in their universes. And, of course, Deadpool, Wolverine, and X-23 are still in their universe. And I don't actually know for certain that uh, Elektra and Blade and Gambit were rescued. I think they were, so we may see them again. But I don't have them here on the list, but they're obviously in a different universe either way. So we got to take them out. All right, then the monster team, much as I would love to see Man-Thing hanging out with the Avengers. Oh, my gosh, that would be epic. Or Werewolf, either one. But no, we don't see them uh, joining. That's not going to happen. Then the young Avengers are, well, too young. <laughs> but I also think they're going to form their own team. So Cassie, Patriot, who isn't technically even Patriot yet, uh, America, Kate Bishop, uh, Miss Marvel, as well as her two characters from her series, Red Dagger and Kamran, uh, Scar, and Ironheart. I don't think any of those would end up joining. Maybe, maybe America Chavez, uh, maybe Kate Bishop, but again, they seem occupied uh, creating a different team, so I'm going to take them off the list. Uh, I don't see most of the Asgardians wanting to join. I mean, Sif would be awesome, absolutely awesome, but now she only has one arm. I mean, she still could kick anybody's butt even with one arm, but still, I don't, I don't see her wanting to join. Korg would be hilarious, but I don't see that happening, and of course, Love is too young, and I don't think Thor would let her join. Then we have some of the heroes that are retired. So Nick Fury is retired. I think Hawkeye is retired like seven times now. And Rescue, it'd be really cool if she joined, but I don't, I don't see that happening. Uh, Pepper's, Pepper's done for now. All right. Last but not least, Gaia. So I think Gaia is probably staying undercover at this point. I don't think she wants anybody to know she exists, and she took off to England. But boy, would she be interesting. She, she would really be helpful on an Avengers team. But no, for now, I don't think we're going to see her. Maybe we'll never see her again, but we definitely won't see her for a while. Okay, so now I think we've got it down, and I'm going to reorganize this down to the 18 most likely picks. If I've taken anybody out that aren't in these 18 that you think should have been here, definitely let me know. But in my mind, these are, it's, one, it's going to come from these 18. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the ones I think will get chosen from this list and then look at the ones that didn't and, and why I don't think they will. All right, so obviously Sam will be leading the team. I mean, Ross is asking him to reform the Avengers. I also think Falcon will join. I realize that's two people that can fly, but Sam is still unique because he's got the shield. He's Captain America. He's more experienced. I, I just imagine Falcon would be really annoyed if he didn't get chosen to join with him. Uh, I think Hulk will turn Sam down, but will say, hey, you need to check out this guy, Shang-Chi. And man, I really want to see Shang-Chi get more action. So I could see him being on the team. Likewise, I think Hulk will say, Jen is awesome. Jen deserves a chance. And Jen wanted to join the Avengers in her series. Uh, she talked about joining the Avengers. So yeah, She-Hulk would be awesome. Shuri, I think, will want to represent Wakanda. Because remember, she is not running the country. That's M'Baku. Now, she is the warrior for Wakanda, the protector of Wakanda, but maybe she can actually protect Wakanda by keeping an eye on the Avengers. Because remember, in Wakanda Forever, it seemed like the U.S. and Wakanda weren't getting along. So it might be smart to have her join the team and kind of keep an eye on things. And then I think Sam will reach out to Tic Tac. He's his, that's his old buddy, and it'll be so much fun to have uh, Ant-Man on the team. So I think those will be the main six, but I can see two others being dotted lines. I think Cersei will become an advisor to the team regarding Tealmet, because somehow Ross is aware that it's not just this island of adamantium. He's calling it Celestial Island in the movie, right? 
Well, I think Cersei will be the one, since she's the leader of the Eternals, who will at least give some of the backstory of Tiamat to uh, Ross and others. Plus, Cersei has been an Avenger in the past, and her power set would be really cool uh, to have somebody that can transmute stuff on the Avengers. So yeah, I, I think Cersei will be an, an advisor to the team, but maybe we'll even join them. That would be really awesome. And then I think Carol will basically say, call me if you need me. <laughs> right? I mean, she's done that before at the end of Shang-Chi, remember? Uh, you can get my number from Bruce. And Bruce is like, oh, yeah, I, I don't have her number. But keep in mind, she's now on Earth. She's staying in Monica's um, uh, house. And I know it was a little confusing on this at first, because I actually thought the, um, the Khan family was moving in. But notice the boxes, Goose Snacks, Carol Snacks. So it's Carol who's moving into Monica's place uh, and staying there. So yeah, she's on Earth. I could see her certainly you know, being on call, but maybe not being with the team all the time. All right, so now let's talk about the ones I didn't pick. So I think Hulk will have his hands full with Scar and trying to figure out his new life uh, with the sun, right? I think Rhodey is working for the government, so I don't think he would want to be on the Avengers. Maybe he isn't even a war machine anymore. Uh, I think Thor is off taking care of love, figuring out what it's like to be uh, a stepdad, if you will. Now, Star-Lord is a real possibility. In fact, I almost picked him. I would love to see him on the team. It would be so funny seeing him trying to subtly take over the team and run the team, you know? He, he's, he's awesome. We will see him again soon, I am certain. Spider-Man, I think, is just dealing with his new life. I don't imagine him wanting to be uh, an Avenger at this point. Uh, nobody even remembers who Peter is. I don't even know if they would know how to reach him, therefore, because they don't know who Peter Parker is. Wong is busy being Sorcerer Supreme. Otherwise, I would totally see him joining the team. Valkyrie is running new Asgard, but I would love to see her on the team. She would be incredible. Uh, I can see Wasp basically saying, eh, let Scott have his fun. Uh, I'm done with this for a while. I would love to see Moon Knight or Scarlet Scarab join the team, but I think they're both still unknowns. I don't think Sam would even know who they are, let alone how to reach them since they're still in London. So hopefully they'll end up uh, getting to the U.S. and joining. I'd love to see a Moon Knight join the West Coast Avengers, honestly, but I don't see him being able to join the current team. So I think this is our new Avengers team. I think they're folks that make sense to be on the team, folks that Sam would know how to reach out to and get a hold of. I think it's a pretty strong team. There's a lot of powerful members, especially with Captain Marvel on call, if not a, a regular member of the team. So let me know your thoughts. Who do you have? I'm sure your lineup is different than mine. Let me know who you like on this lineup, who you don't like, and who you've got on yours. And one way or another, we're going to find out when Captain America Brave New World arrives in February. So don't forget, August contest, be a subscriber, leave a comment, win a book or a steel book, and there's that membership option in case you're interested. And of course, we have the Discord. Notice this is the Marvel Theories chat, where we theorize on, well, anything you can imagine. Would love to have you get in there and throw out your theories. 1,700 members from across the globe, conversations happening 24-7, and we would love for you to be a part of it. I will leave a pinned comment so you can join the Discord. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content and we'll all continue to enjoy the ever-growing, the ever-changing Marvel Cinematic Universe.